Hello, welcome to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we're gonna to be taking our Ender 3 from this. To this. First of all, let's roll the credits. Excellent. So today we're going to be trying to quieten down the end of three. Um, it's not really a huge issue for Mike because his um, printers are all out in his garage. But, um, but the noise is still annoying, and especially when we're trying to film in here and things like that, the noise can be quite distracting. Uh, we have to just basically shut off all the printers because they're too loud. So we're going through an exercise where we're trying to make them all as silent as humanly possible. We previously tried stepper dampeners. Um, the problem with the Ender 3 is that the way the motors are mounted for the Z and for the Y carriage, um, you can't really fit stepper dampeners to it because the motor sits too far away and the shaft isn't long enough. So we've decided to go with the Big Tree SKR E3 DIP, which is a drop-in replacement model. Um, this is a drop-in replacement for the stock Ender board. Um, there is another option if you want to go silent. That is to buy the version 1.5 direct from Creality. Um, that has, I think, 2208s on it. At 20, what, sorry, it's 2109s that are in that are baked into the Ender 3 board. Um, this one actually comes with 2209s. They're very nice. Um, there probably won't be that much of a material difference in quality, but what we're trying to go for here is we're trying to get that noise right down. So, um, as I said before, this is a drop in replacement specifically for the Ender 3. So, the firmware that comes on this uh, won't work for, say, a, uh, a CR10 or an S4 or anything like that. This is specifically for the Ender 3. And for all intents and purposes, we'll be taking this board out, putting this board in, and there should be no other changes at all. The firmware does come preloaded. There is an SD card that comes with it. All you need to do to load that firmware on is you plug the SD card in, you plug this via the micro USB into a PC, and you allow it to boot. There's a green LED on here that will tell you when it's booted. Um, once it's booted up, it automatically loads the firmware on. And the file extension that's on this SD card changes from, I think, a hex to a bin file. Um, you can then take the SD card out. You can put it into your PC. You can see that it's a bin file. And you'll know that this has um, has, has worked and that the... And that the, um, that the uh, firmware is now updated so without further ado let's get to taking apart the ender so as you can see we've got a couple of mods on this machine um, already first is that we've got the upgraded all metal um, extruder head that makes it a hell of a lot easier when you're using a Bowden setup uh, we've got a piece of we've got a filament guide rail up here and this here is something that all the realistically all ender threes should do it's a very very easy mod and all it is is it stops all the detritus and stuff falling directly into the fan that's part of the main board so without further ado we shall start taking this apart make sure you remove the sd card that's already in the board got a fan that just unplugs like that now the best thing to do at this point is to take a picture of this board that will allow you, everything is labeled but it will allow you to know where things are plugged in where they're not and everything else um, I have done this before so I'm relatively confident on where everything is so we will now start unscrewing the board from its mounting base. Sh 
should be three screws that are holding this in. Now, most Chinese printers you will find this with, um, they have a tendency to hot glue their connectors in place. Um, they do this really so that when the device is in transit, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, oh, there's four, apologies. Uh, they do this so that when it's in transit, it doesn't, they don't just come loose. Ideally, they don't really want people playing with the boards. So, they try to make sure no one has to open them up. Okay, so. This is the old board, and this is the new one. The layout is almost identical. In fact, it should be identical. You can see here that the drivers on this board and on the 1.5 that you can buy, they are hard, they're, they're soldered on, they're part of the PCB. These, however, are removable drivers. Doesn't really matter because once we've done this piece, we're not going to be changing them again. But I, the way I like to do mine is I go through... And as I pull things out, I plug them straight back in to exactly the same place that they came out of. So, as you can see, what we've done here, everything along here are, as you can see, everything along here, these are all, this is the power in, and these are the powers out. So these are for the, um, you can see the hot end, the 12 volt in, the bed, so on and so forth. Um, these are for all of the end stops. This was for the primary fan. There is another fan on the outside here, which will go into this one. And then these are clearly labelled on here, and they're clearly labelled on there as well. This here is for the screen. So, we can now, using the same mounting points as before, screw this back in.
Okay, as always, we should always do a quick move this table, a quick test to make sure that what we've done before we close everything up. Pop that on. Marlin will come on. As you can see, this is the 2.0 bug fix. And this will it should say, there you go, SKE E3 DIP ready. That's just what they've named the that's just what they've named the board. If you want to play about in Marlin and change your name, you absolutely can. I haven't bothered. Right, so we know that, that works, which is good. We will unplug that. This fan goes back into the plug. I will show you which plug on here. So it's this end plug right here for this fan. That end plug there. Okay, so grab that little bit out there. This will now go back on like that. I should just make sure that all of our cables aren't in our way. Just be aware that there is a little slot at the back there that the um, that the cable for the uh, for the for the end stop just slots into. So just make sure that all of that is out of your way. So as you can hear now, this is uh, virtually silent. All you can really hear is the uh, the fan noises. Now, you can change out the fans. What you need to be aware of is that if you change the fans out for Noctua fans, which are much quieter, they're quieter because they, lo they move less air. So, I mean, amongst other things, they've got higher quality bearings and things like that. But ultimately, the reason why they're quiet is because they move less air. Now... When you do that to the hot end, there's a, there's a fan on that that directly cools the heat sink. If there's not enough air to cool that heat sink, then you'll get heat creep, where the heat moves up the heat sink and into the Bowden tube, and it will start to soften your PLA before, or your filament before it gets to the nozzle, and that will cause clogs and other issues as well. So there are plenty of people who are running Noctua fans. That's absolutely fine. Um, the fans that you should that you can change are there's one on the hot end, there's one inside there, and there's also one inside the power supply at the side there. So you can change all of those fans if you want to get really, really silent, but I think you'll agree that this is a day and night comparison between those boards. Um, we went for the SKR on this. I've previously done a video as well on changing over to the Creality 1.5. The difference isn't mass, so there is no difference between the noise, to be honest. This board is as quiet as the Creality 1.5 is. The only thing I would say is that the Creality board is slightly more expensive and all of the drivers are actually are still soldered onto the main board, like with these ones, whereas on the SKR, they aren't. The SKR also comes with Marlin 2.0. And is a bit more, you know, is a bit more customizable in what you can do. You get the latest bug fixes and all that sort of stuff. So personally, I prefer the SKR um, over over the Creality one. So thanks very much for joining us, guys and dolls. Uh, keep an eye on the channel. Remember to subscribe, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.